Ooh, my goodness. I get healed right off the bat. And I'd like to thank you so much for joining me in Resident Evil 5. I do not like the sound of our new location, the execution grounds. Sounds pretty freaky. You grab it. Okay. I'm really struggling. I wish there was an option in this game to upgrade the size of our attache case because I don't have room for diddly squad. Take it. Roger. And in fact, oh, what? Uh oh. Oh, sick. Oh my gosh. They're all totally jazzed that the dude just got eaten. All right, I haven't had a chance to use my dragon out of sniper rifle lately. What? Oh man. Seriously, it's not even affecting them. All right, you guys wanna go? Okay, thank you for dying. Finally, my goodness. Yeah, it shot. All right, keep him coming, man. Keep him coming. Oh, who, who just threw that at me? That was so uncool. What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, you're going down, man. Oh, sweet. Come on, Sheva, finish him off. For heaven's sake. Yeah. I've been doing some upgrades to the critical headshot of the pistol. And I think it's paying off. All right, seriously, the music's still going. That means that there's still enemies around. I'm kind of freaked out to jump down. Okay. Honestly, don't see a single other per- Oh, oh, oh. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay. Finally, finally, finally. Seems like all the enemies are defeated. I was starting to say at the very beginning of this video, I went through and did some more upgrades to some of my weapons. But most importantly, I went through and dropped 10,000 bones to get the melee vest. It just helps offer some protection against, obviously, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Or, I'm guessing, also, some of their, like, spears and things like that. So, I'm hoping that it, it helps out. Because health is a little bit of a, a rarity in this game right now. Oh, junk. For real, guys? Oh, man. All right. Time to whip out the dragon off again. Maybe. Okay, I don't even think I'm going to need it. What up, dude? Yeah. Right in your face. Oh, come on, man. Come and join the party. Really? Thank you for dying. I'm going to be so happy when we get out of this area. Okay, good. I think that's everybody. Sweet. All right, there's a lot of areas to explore. We're not going that way, apparently. Well, apparently, which way are we going? Shava. Okay, get on the raft, and I'll turn the crank. Ooh, nice. A little bit of teamwork action. Okay. Question is... 
And do I need to climb? Yeah. Oh, really? And Sheva's not here to get it for me. I'm very excited as well. In the last video, I unlocked... I, I don't think I can access it from here. No, I cannot. But there is some bonus content. And I think when I finish all of the chapters... Uh-oh. I'm kind of freaked out right now. You know we're going to have to defend ourselves. Oh. The freaking crocodiles. What's up, Mick Dundee? I'm just going to keep planted firm in the middle. Maybe they won't bother me as much. Oh! You shall not eat me for dinner! Man, I can only imagine the damage that... Well, as we saw before in the previous... Uh, a couple videos ago. It's like a one-hit kill. As soon as they get their teeth on you, you're dead. Alright, Sheva. I'm gonna unlock it for you, girl. Anywho, I was starting to say I unlocked an episode. A bonus episode that I want to go through and play when I finish the game that explores like what happened to Jill when Chris and Jill were on their mission and he thought she died. So that should be pretty cool to check out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was a little bit confused for a moment on where to go because we had to open up that gate and then Sheva came and joined us. So I kind of thought that we were gonna make our way like Back up there somehow. But apparently, it's our chosen path to descend into the caves. Oh my gosh. But once again, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me on this super freaky mission. Who knows what sorts of beasties are waiting for us in here. I'm just going to call it the Tomb of Horrors if you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan. Oh, what do we have here? A gemstone. Oh yeah, a square sapphire. Ka-chow. Oh my goodness. Well, this looks more... A little bit more civilized, obviously. There's tents. Tricep. They're one of the companies funding the BSAA. What are they doing here? Well, I'm sure... Oh, my goodness. Look at all this stuff she's finding in the tall grass. I want to find something. Quit hogging it all, Sheva. <gasps> Sick, it's a snake. Shoot it, man. Oh, yeah, I got it. Oh, really? A brown egg? We're full? Oh, well, we still have three white eggs, as you can see. Oh, well. I, I, there's bound to be some sort of documentation that we can pick up and check out. Oh, yeah. Speak of the devil. Type 3 Plagas Field Test. If you recall, some videos ago, we picked up a document about the Type 2 that could transform in a matter of seconds. So let's see what the heck the Type 3s are. One week has passed since the initial field test of Type 3. It was designed to display dramatically enhanced physical abilities over previous versions. Oh boy. I'll let you read this on your own. I'll, I'll just kind of scan through it real quick. So they're hoping to make Type 3 the new standard in bioweapons. And it looks like it is only effective in adult and adolescent males. 
Women and young children have a 0% adherence rate. They can jump crazy well. And they grow very tall. Pretty freaky. I think that we've already begun seeing some of them. Oh, check this out. A BSAA emblem. Nice. You grab it. Okay. Cool. Well, it kind of seems... I, mean, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Oh, first aid spray. Smells like medicine in here. Is that antiseptic? How can we be full? Oh, Sheva, the travesty. I'm kind of cheesed. I honestly probably wouldn't have bought this melee vest if I had known it took up a slot. I thought it could just be equipped somehow, but... Oh, well... You grab it. Okay. I can't turn down an opportunity to pick up some first aid spray. Ooh, an incendiary grenade. Are you serious? Ugh. All right, let's check out what's going on here. This is super creepy. Oh. Oh, a jewel beetle. Get away, snake. Even though I... Okay, cool. We can it. pick it up. If it's a white egg, since we already have it in our inventory. Oh. Please let it be something I can pick up. Take and gun ammo. And gun ammo. Okay. Alright, I need to better equip myself before we continue. This looks like some sort of oil refinery. Hence, all that sludge that we just saw. Alright, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's see what's going on down here. Looks like we've arrived at the oil field. Yeah. And Irving's not getting away this time. Uh oh, are we gonna have another showdown with Irving? That dude was pretty crazy. Nothing like the smell of burning tires in the morning, let me tell you. Alright. Come on, Sheva. Let's do this. I don't like the look of this one bit. Oh, junk. Okay, we're gonna have to avoid enemies as well as all the booby traps, if you will, from the refinery. We're gonna have to bypass all those burning jets. Otherwise, our faces will be melted off. All right, I'm going down, Sheva. Cover me. Oh. Take it. Okay. No. Seriously, what'd you throw, man? Yeah, that was so tight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dude's got a machete. He probably knows how to use it. Oh. No! We're back to these types of guys again. Just like in the mines. I feel like you get punished. I'll cover you. Okay. Hopefully we can direct some of the flames so that those dudes can't follow us. That would be amazing. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Oh, great. Apparently we just made people more pissed off. You didn't. Really? I can't even hit him. Get away, get away, get away. Seriously, dude? 
he better be dead. Yeah. Sheva, we are about to be in a predicament. Oh. Alright, where's more guys? You, sir. Alright, let's throw this lever and see what happens. Oh, right on. I'm going for it. Geronimo! Oh, yeah. That was tight. Sweet, it looks like that opened up another pathway for us. Uh-oh. Are you for real right now? I don't have the strength to fight a freaking chainsaw man. As if I don't know. She's like, that's the last thing we need right now, Chris. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Let's just run. Let's just freaking duck. Oh, freak. Come on, man. Climb, 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 climb. I'm hoping we can... Oh, yeah. Climb, 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 climb. Yeah. Where is he? <gasps> What's a freak? Okay, I want to kick him. Hook him. Yeah, bam. Oh, no, you don't, man. I need to switch weapons. Bad. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hook him. Bam! Zipline! Zipline! <laughs> oh... Yeah, try chasing after us. Oh, are you for real? There's another one. Oh. Oh, thank you. No. You know he's going to jump up here. Oh, no. Release. Release. Bam. Please don't tell me that that other guy is coming. If I can just keep doing this. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed. Oh, junk. Oh, oh, he hit me. Somehow I didn't die. Oh, you know what I really needed was that proximity mine. Of all the luck, I really wish I... Oh, freak. Open, open, open. Really, dude? If I can manage to kill one of them, we'll be in good shape. No! Yeah, I'm I'm dead. That was bad news. Bad news. Oh my gosh. What I need to do is make room for that bomb. Totally. And that way they should be able to be defeated easier. Worst case scenario, we've got two RPGs. So we'll just have to see. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to tune back for the next video as I try to take down the two creepy chainsaw men. And hopefully. I don't die.